the realm celebrates Aegon's second name day with a royal hunt in the Kingswood. During a gathering shortly before the hunt, Hobart Hightower pressures his brother Otto, who serves as the Hand of the King, to convince Viserys to name Aegon his heir. Hobart later openly hails the prince as Aegon the Conqueror Babe, second of his name. During the outing, the royal huntsman tracks a white heart, considered a magical creature and a symbol of royalty, contributing to Viserys's doubts about previously naming Rhaenyra his heir in a very public ceremony. To the king's relief, however, the stag that they finally catch is not a white one. When Otto proposes a marriage between Aegon and Rhaenyra, this at first amuses then angers the king, who is already exhausted with the constant politicking by his small council and the other lords present, including Jason Lannister who brazenly declares his assumption that Aegon will soon be named heir. The day after the hunt, Otto pressures Alicent to discuss the succession with Viserys. She does not bring up the subject in her next conversation with him, however. The following year, Rhaenyra and her uncle Daemon watch a mummer's farce about the succession performed on the Street of Silk in King's Landing. The majority of the spectators appear to favor Aegon as heir, echoing the lead mummer's question that Rhaenyra would be a feeble queen. After being dismissed as Hand of the King, Otto bluntly tells Alicent that if Rhaenyra inherits the throne, war will follow and Alicent and her children will be put to the sword. He urges her to prepare Aegon to rule. Ten years later, a now teenaged Aegon accompanies his brother Aemond and Rhaenyra's sons Jacqueries and Lucerys Velaryon to the dragon pit, and watches as Jace is trained by the dragon keepers to command his young dragon Vermax. Aegon, Jace, and Luke tell Aemond, the only boy yet without a dragon, that they found one for him. The three boys then bring out a pig that they have decorated with wings and make fun of Aemond with squealing noises. Aegon is later scolded in private by his mother who tells him that he must treat his brother respectfully in public, for one day he will be king. When Aegon claims that he has no plans to challenge Rhaenyra's succession, Alicent rebukes him, telling her son that he himself already is the challenge, and that Rhaenyra will have to kill him and his brother to secure her claim. Aegon later trains in the courtyard of the Red Keep alongside Aemond, Jace, and Luke under Sir Criston Cole. Aegon demonstrates proficiency with a sword against a straw man, but he and Aemond are easily bested by Criston. Criston later has Aegon knock Jace to the ground and relentlessly attack him, but Sir Harwin Strong intervenes, grabbing Aegon and pushing him aside, angering the young prince. Aegon is present alongside Viserys, Alicent, Helena, Aemond, and the rest of the royal family for the funeral of his aunt, Lena Velaryon, at Driftmark. During the funeral reception after, Aegon and his brother watch their sister Helena study a spider, and they argue over Aegon's betrothal to and dislike of their sister, with him stating Helena is an idiot and that they have nothing in common. Aemon defends Helena by reminding Aegon that she is their sister and his future queen. When Aegon suggests Aemon should marry Helena if he is willing to defend her, Aemon says that if he were betrothed to Helena, he would do his duty to keep their Valyrian blood pure. Aegon finishes the argument by quipping that he and Helena do share at least an attraction to things with long legs, before grabbing more wine and leaving to flirt with a servant. Aegon continues to get drunk on wine through the funeral reception into the evening. He is eventually found by his grandfather, Sir Otto Hightower, inebriated on a flight of steps near the reception area. Exasperated at his behavior, Otto roughly grabs Aegon, who in his drunken confusion believes him to be his brother. Otto then drags Aegon back to the reception area and sends him to bed, while his brother Aemond and the assembled court look on. Later that evening, Aegon is present in the Hall of Nine with his mother and sister, as Aemond's eye injury is tended to by Maester Kelvin, while Viserys angrily questions his Kingsguard how they allowed the fight between his son and his grandchildren and nieces to happen. Alicent then angrily confronts Aegon on where he was before slapping and reprimanding him for getting drunk while his brother was harmed. When calls on Aemond to tell him where he heard the rumors about Jace and Luke's parentage, Aemond reluctantly says Aegon told him, baffling Aegon. When Viserys questions Aegon on where he heard the rumors, Aegon's only defense to his father's questioning is that everyone knows based on Jace and Luke's non-Valyrian features. The following day, Aegon departs with his family from Driftmark, riding on his dragon Sunfire, alongside Helena on Dreamfire and Aemond on Vagar as they return home to King's Landing. At some point after this, Aegon and Helena are wed to each other and have two children, Jaerys and Jaehyra. 
Six years after Lena's funeral, Aegon rapes a household servant named Diana as she is serving him wine. Furious, Alicent goes to see her son, who is lying in bed naked and heavily drunk. When Aegon says that he viewed it as harmless fun, and that Diana did not need to get upset, Alicent yells at him to stop with his womanizing as he is shaming their family. Aegon accuses his mother of wanting too much from him, and that despite how much pressure she and his father put on him, it will never be enough for them. Later, Aegon and his family hear the petitions of Vaymond Velaryon and Rhaenyra, on behalf of Lucerys, over the succession to Driftmark. Aegon seems amused by the whole ordeal. Aegon smiles when Viserys reaffirms Lucerys's right to Driftmark. Aegon is surprised when his uncle Daemon kills Vaymond for calling Rhaenyra's sons bastards. Viserys gets the entire Targaryen family together for dinner that night. Fed up with Aegon, Alicent toasts Rhaenyra and says that she will be a fine queen. Aegon harasses Jace about his betrothal to their cousin Bela, joking that he can teach Jace about sex. When Aegon goes to flirt with Bela, Jace stands up but quickly calms himself. Helena adds in, toasting Bela and Reiner and indirectly taunting Aegon about their marriage. Aegon is further annoyed when Jace dances with Helena. At the end of the feast, when a fight breaks out between Aemond and Jace, Aegon joins in by hitting Luke's head against the table before Alicent, Rhaenyra, and Demon break the fight up. On his deathbed, Viserys, thinking he is talking to Rhaenyra, tells Alicent that Aegon's prophetic dream is true and that she will be the one to save the realm. Believing that Viserys means their son, Alicent is reinvigorated in her goal to get Aegon on the throne. 